Good morning, grade tens. Today we are going to continue um, with chapter four, solving basic mathematical problems using Delphi. Just to put you at ease, a mathematical problem is not something that is necessarily difficult. It just simply means it's something that needs to be solved regardless of its difficulty level. So we are continuing with module 4.2, um, which is about formatting numbers. This is very closely related to what we have done in module 3.5, converting of data types, or as we called it, casting. Um, we looked at functions as such as int to string, string to int, and then we had floating point numbers, which is of real data type, um, string to float and float to string. So we are going to um, look at a function called float to string f. And I'm going to highlight this for us and take you through this function. So this the first part of it is exactly like we have done before. We have a real value and we're converting it to string because we want to display it in a edit or in a label or in a um, show message box, etc. What is added is our if, our format. So what this means is we have a real value that is now um, converted to string with a specific format. And this function has what we call four parameters, four arguments. The first one it needs is the value that actually needs to be converted. Um, if I tell you, um, go fetch the book from the bookshelf, um, the first question you would ask me is, but what book? So I have to give you further information. I can't just say, go fetch the book. I have to say what book, where, et cetera, et cetera. So, and the same with functions. If I, if I tell Delphi, listen, use this function, it needs more information. And the first information that it needs is, what do I need to format? And then the second one is, what do I need to format it into? Now, this part of the function has um, various um, values that you can add. But for now, we're only going to look at two. And the first one is FF currency, um, which will convert a value into a currency format with a currency symbol, as well as two um, decimal places, although we still specify it in the next um, parameters. And then the second one is FF fixed, which is a fixed number um, with a fixed number of characters and a fixed number of decimal places. So that's the format. The third one is um, precision. Um, I can't highlight all of that. There we go. Um, and that refers to the total number of digits a number will display. Um, if I have a number that is five digits long, but I've only specified four, there's something that happens that we, where it's going to cut off our number. And in our example below, I'm actually going to show you what that, how that looks like. And then digits is the number of decimal places that the number has. The precision part actually includes the number of decimal places, excluding the decimal point. But um, so this is a combination of all characters before the decimal and after the decimal. And then the last part is the decimal part of our number. All right, so let's look at the example. So we have a value um, that is assigned um, or a variable that is assigned a value of 452.769 um, and we are applying our float to string f function to that value. So our value, um, which is this, um, f fixed means it's a fixed um, number format, eight digits long with one decimal place. Um, and this is our answer. Why is there an eight? I don't see an eight here because it automatically rounds it. So this format not only formats it to a fixed one, but it also rounds it to one decimal place. In our second example, 
we have it very, very similar, except that we ha now have two decimal places. You can see eight zero, but you can see that we now our precision um, parameter is at four, but our number is one, two, three, four, five numbers long. It's the three before and then um, the two after. So you can see it should have, if this would have been five comma two, we would have, this number would have read 452.77. This nine would have been rounded up um, to seven and then, or the six would have been rounded up to seven and we would have had a result of seven, seven. But because we only have precision is four, it will only be precise to four digits and not five. Right, and then the last example is an example where we use FF currency, and you can see the R symbol is added to our value. Now, um, I was going to go through this example with you. Um, however, this does not, um, the, the activity itself does not open because it was done in the community edition of Delphi. So if you are, still have the community edition, you can open this, but if you run Delphi 10 or Delphi 7 still, you won't be able to open this example. The activities that you actually have to do, they um, I tested them, they are opening, so there is no problem there. I just want to highlight one thing. Um, you can read through this. Um, for example, um, how do we change the alignment of numbers, um, etc. So takes you through that. And then one thing that I want to highlight is in place of the flow to string F function, we can also use the format currency function. Now that one is slightly um, more complicated, although they say it's easier. I do not think so. Flow to string F is um, as easy as it can get. Um, I will try to um, give you an example of how this is going to look like. I'm going to type it right here. Um, I have my cat laying on my arm, so typing is very difficult. Um, so um, instead of having, you know, um, so we will still have our LBL um, price dot caption. This is very big. I think I need to make that way, way smaller. Um, let's do that again, but smaller. There we go. Okay. Um, so we have LBL price dot caption colon equals. And now instead of float to string F, we actually have format car. Let me spell that with camel case, car, open bracket. Now, and this is what, what frustrates me, the textbook actually does not give you an example. So how are they actually expecting you to know what comes next? So there's a couple, what comes next is the, the, the format. And because it's string, we need to put it in inverted commas. And then you can have, for example, zero, 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 point zero zero and then um, I would have to add my um, comma well let me do it like this comma and then we have our value or something like that um, and that will be my function so it formats something and then adds that to it I have a snippet um, let's quickly see if I can bring that up. Um, and I have no idea where this actually went. Okay. So over here, um, I don't know if you can see that. Um, so zero forces digits display. Um, and hashes, we can use hashes instead of zero optional digits. Um, and then comma forces to place of thousands, the decimal point. Etc. Etc. The rest you can actually ignore. The important part um, would be the zero, the hash, and the um, hash, 
and the comma and the decimal place and I would ignore ask you to ignore the rest but again I would even scrap that completely and only focus on the um, float to string f okay activity six uh, 4.6 um, you can write these ones down. Let me just do one of them. I'm going to make this a bit smaller. So the, um, this one would be return a number that displays three digits and no decimal digits. So I will um, have float to do that like that string. F, open bracket, what do we want? Um, our, our number, comma, f, f fixed, um, comma, and we have three digits, so it's three, comma, zero. And that will be our function. Obviously, that value needs to be assigned to a variable or to an output component in order for it to be displayed. Um, all right, then... Um, what I want you to do is activity 4.7. Um, there are three of them, and that concludes today's lesson. I hope this video will help, and um, shout if you need anything with regards to the activity. Um, but try it out, and yeah, ask your questions if you have any.